What is going on guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to the Tennessee Innkeeper YouTube channel. Today I've got some unboxings. You guys get to also see my legs and uh, my nasty shorts. I just got home from work. I've got two boxes from Tar Heel Ants and uh, they're a lot bigger than I was expecting. So there should just be two nests and the two outworlds that come with them. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult to try to get these on camera but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the box sizes. As you can see, the bigger one has a fragile sticker on it. So uh, we'll have to be a little careful with that one. But I'm going to go on ahead and stop yapping and we're gonna get to opening these boxes. Which one should we open first though? I think we should open this one up because this one's smaller. I know what these are. Um, I just don't know what's in what box, but I think we're gonna open this one up first. All right. So the only place I could figure out where to open these up at is the floor of my office. Uh, this is the office that me and my wife share. It's also the office my aunts are in and Leo. Um, Leo's over here. Let me show you, look how messy this room is. Um, we both recently just got all of our stuff in here together. And uh, it's been kind of a struggle getting everything together, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna get straight to these unboxings. So I got two nests from Tar Heel Ants. I ordered them back in August and they just got here. Um, unfortunately, that's just the fun of ordering from Tar Heel Ants. You get the uh, luxury of having to wait unless you order from the ready to ship. It's not a bad thing. It's just part of it, you know, whenever it comes to handmade ant nests. So let's see, are we gonna get bombarded with popcorn? Yup. So this is everything that's in this box. Obviously, I'm kidding. Um, oh lord. You know what? I'm gonna kind of slam those out of the way. So, everything that you order from Tar Heel Ants always comes with these syringes. And, uh, you know, the funny thing is, the last order I had from Tar Heel Ants, I got a syringe that was just like this one. And, uh, I'm gonna show you guys. This is hilarious. It's, I have like an insane amount of these syringes. But look, <laughs> it came bent again. So uh, they've been back pretty easy. I, I have messed it up even more. But that's just hilarious. Uh, Mac, if you see this, I promise it's not a big deal. Like it, that's not a selling point for me. It's like I said, I have like 12 of them. Um, I ordered a huge bag of them a long time ago too, whenever I ordered my very first mini hearth from Tar Heel Ants. Um, so, we're gonna just kind of sling all of the popcorn. All right, so we've got a big mess here. I'm gonna actually stick that over here. We can dig through this again. You guys get some of that epic styrofoam pop. So, let's get a little zoom in here. You know what? We're gonna move to the desk for this one now that we've got this box out of the way. I'll see you at the desk. You know what? I just realized I've still got this big box to open. So we're not going to the desk yet. Nope, you guys get to sit here and open this one with me. Fun fact about this knife, um, this is a Spyderco knife, but um, if you like, if you hate gross things, just go ahead and skip ahead 20 seconds. Um, I was trying to whittle one day um, and this is the knife that sliced my thumb in half. You can kind of see the little juicy part right there. Terrible quality. So yeah, I, I sliced my thumb. And uh, long story short, that day was the day that I learned you don't cut towards yourself. I was 22 at the time. So that's fun. I didn't get the sides cut. Now I'm not about to wrestle some tape. So, you know something crazy though? This box was actually lighter than that little box and the little box had less in it um, so I don't know and it was smaller that nest was actually smaller than the one that's in this ginormous box of oh my gosh I'm gonna have so much to clean up I'm just gonna do the exact same thing oh yeah look at all that I don't know if this one's gonna come with the syringe and stuff or not make an absolute mess in my room. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Holy crap. Wow. 
wow. Um, as you guys can see, <laughs> they really uh, make sure your nest is gonna arrive safe and sound. Oh my gosh. Hey, look, there it is. There's a little package. And this syringe, believe it or not. Oh, oh. Okay, iPhone, iPhone 13, you don't focus good. The syringe is also bit. Three for three, baby. Three for three. So now I've got this giant box and this uh, insane amount of popcorn foam everywhere. Okay, we're gonna go to the desk, but like this sucker is huge. I love, you know what? Well, I'll go into detail after we get to the desk. I just want you guys to see that uh, it's not, it doesn't look like that much on camera, but that's a lot. Also, check out the Megatron chair. Isn't that cool? Isn't it so cool? Got it from Andeseat. Andeseat, however you say it. Highly recommend, highly. Very comfy. Uh, anyways, yep, box foam and another box foam. I'm gonna dig through them one more time off camera to make sure I didn't forget anything. But as far as I know, that and that are all I got. To the desk. Okay, so I don't quite have the desk space for uh, this larger one, but you know, and it's wild because this bigger one, it was in a bigger box, is a lot heavier than this one, which was in the smaller box, but the smaller box was heavy. You know what? I'm gonna just stop trying to try and figure it out. But we're gonna try to get, there we go, one out. We're gonna try to get this going. Um, there's a lot of plastic that goes on these nests to help keep it secure. So not only in the boxes are you getting the um, popcorn foam, but you're also getting plastic wrap with bubble wrap around it as well. I believe it looks like there's bubble wrap in there. Um, my past packages I've gotten from him, from Mac, have all had bubble wrap around the item as well as this plastic wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of talk about this nest here. The one that I, well, what I'm currently opening is an outworld, but the nest that I got here is the regular labyrinth. So like the normal size labyrinth, there's a mini labyrinth and then the labyrinth and the XL labyrinth. So you got three sizes to choose from. Here's the outworld. I will have all the options I chose. Oh, there's more plastic. I'll have all the options that I chose listed on the screen. So that way you guys can see, because I don't quite remember what options I got. I know I got museum glass for the nest. The outworld, I believe, is just standard. So there's a lot of, sorry, my hand is in the way. There's a lot of customization options whenever it comes to ordering from Letar Hill Ants. And one of the things that I like about the website is that you can't, ooh, one of the things that I like the most is that you can choose a higher quality uh, glass for both the Outworld and the Nest. It just, it makes life more simple, I guess you could say, more elegant. You can, you can be bad and bougie or, you know, you can be simple. And there's nothing wrong with being simple. I'm just going to make my life easier. So you might also be asking if you're new to uh, getting into ant keeping or if you've never ordered from Tar Heel Ants and want to, what's the difference between standard glass and museum glass? And I would have to say, I am so very glad that you asked. Oh my gosh, this plastic, it gives me a time of my life. So with the standard glass, you can see there's all kinds of reflections. It's easy to see what's going on in here from, you know, my view. Ooh, you got it in my face. No, we don't want that. Um, I'm not about that. So you can kind of see there's a lot of reflections going on here. And on the camera, you can see everything going on in the background. Hence why you can see my face, hi. Um, but this is the Outworld. This Outworld is connected with two magnets, three magnets, three magnets, and then the little vinyl tube to get into the Outworld. And that's what the outworld looks like from the top. This is a very pretty outworld. Um, 
Thank you, Mac, for making this thing look so bougie. Okay, sorry about that cut. I ran out of storage. Go figure, iPhones are awesome for that. So, like I think I was saying, um, the Outworld was pretty, but let's get on to the main event of this unboxing. Oh. <coughs> Wow, this nest has so much detail in it. I'm about to show you guys this. This is awesome. This is one of the first, like, I guess big nests you could say I've ordered from Park Hill Ants. Um, I've got a casito. I think it's how you say it. Because uh, it's like, I think it means house in Spanish. I, I'm probably butchering that. I'm so sorry to everyone that uh, speaks Spanish and so saying you're wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I've got the casita, and then I've got the fortress. Not the fallen fortress, just the regular fortress, which is vertical. And currently I have my Campanatus Pennsylvanicus inside of that nest, but they are about to move. They will be going in the casita, and my formica will be going into the nest I'm going to show momentarily. But right now, here is the nest my... Laceus, I believe their Americanus are going in. I have a lot of people saying that I don't believe my Americanus are Americanus. They think that they're Neo Niger, but I don't know. So I got it in the light blue color. There's one entrance, and then this is where the Outworld will connect to the nest. This is the museum quality glass. You can see there's not much reflection uh, between the glass and what is being recorded. Um, that is what I like about the museum quality glass with the nest. I'm gonna try to get both of these in shot here. It also doesn't show fingerprints like the standard glass does. These are neodymium magnets. I don't know how you even say that word. Um, they're they're the neo magnets. Oh my gosh, those magnets are strong. So you don't have to worry about anything, uh, you know, messing them up. But look at that. That's some intricate quality right there. That is awesome. I love this. I'm going to try to set this back down without it shattering. Oh my gosh. My finger's caught underneath. Oh. <laughs> so the thing with the labyrinth is I believe you can get it with multiple water towers. I just got two. So I'll water one when this one dries up. I'll water this side. Kind of just keeps everything flowing nice and well. There are stoppers that go in this. That's what was in that little bag. They're 3D printed. Um, you can, I believe you can choose to get them without the stoppers. Um, I ordered one nest mate with all of this just because I have so many lying around. But there's also, let me find it here. Uh oh, I might be missing a piece. The big stopper it goes right there. Yep, that doesn't go there. Okie dokie. Wrong thing. Does this go right there? Okay, yeah. I, I guess it's a 3D printed one. I don't know how well I trust that. Yeah, see. <laughs> um, okay, well. Hey, Mac, I might need something from you. Okay, say it's like that. Won't need anything. This is the regular Labyrinth, guys. And like I said, I got it from my Laceus, I believe Americanus. Glare. There's my hand. Um, from my Laceus. So I got this ordered in the tiny. Uh, species so that way the channels and everything in here are a lot smaller so that way uh, you know it fits to the ants because you don't want too big of chamber sizes if you have tiny ants they're gonna not enjoy it ants like to be claustrophobic so keep that in mind I did not get the dark screen for either of these nests um, I probably will though because uh, I thought I could 3d print it myself but I don't want to the dark screen looks a lot better than a 3d printed piece of plastic a 3d printed piece of plastic Okay, we're gonna get on to the next unboxing though, and I'll show them side by side so you guys can see them. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it got worse. Um, you guys see what's in this outworld? Yep, packing peanuts. We got more. So I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to start the video a little early. I was trying to take the liberty uh, and go ahead and unwrap these, but I could not help myself. I had to show that there was more packing peanuts. So that's done. All right, so I'm back. I got everything unboxed. This Outworld, very similar to the other one. Um, the only difference is this one is ginormous. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, this is a big Outworld. 
I'm not complaining because my Formica Palette de Fulva, they love to explore. And I currently have a separate outworld attached to the nest they're in. So there's a nest on top of the cas casita, um, an outworld there. And then I have another one off to the side. So this would be plenty of foraging area. And I may even leave the other outworld attached to the side of this one. Um, they just need a lot more room to explore. They love to be there. They just love being out. They're very active ants. Um, they're a species I highly recommend to uh, not really beginners, um, just because they climb out of their enclosure. If you know, whenever it comes time to feed, they're very fast. They shoot formic acid, which mm, a lot of ants do. Uh, that people keep Campanatus do, and they're a very easy species. I still, you know, I still tell people that buy formica pallida fulva from me because I do sell them on the Ants Canada page to always be cautious of the formic acid and because of their speed. They have amazing eyesight and great speed. But <laughs> here is the Labyrinth XL. As you can see, there are six magnets here, one little port to go from the nest to the outworld. Um, I'm not going to attach this one just yet, but as you can see here, another different thing about this one and the other one is this one has three water towers. I believe there's an option to get four or five, maybe. Um, but I know that the base option is three. Same thing with the magnets as the other one. They have those neodymium. I don't even know how you say it. Um, <laughs> the very, very strong magnets. They're not They're not your average basic magnet. No, these magnets are, are true strong boy power magnets. I'm currently trying to get the other outworld and other nests over here. And the good thing about those extremely strong magnets is that they come off... You can pull them apart pretty easy, actually, um, which not a bad thing, you know? Okay, so here's the small one. Here is the monster outworld. I can't even get them both in shot here. Let's see, ooh, ooh, scratching everything. Can they both fit in shot? You see how the size difference, like that is unreal. So both my, <laughs> Laceus are going to have a lot of space to travel and move around. And so are my Formica. Man, I need to get one of these for all my colonies. The Labyrinth is definitely the way to go. I will no longer be getting the XL um, size mini hearth. I will just go straight to the Labyrinth. <sighs> There's a noticeable weight difference between the two nests, but um, it's not so bad actually. I plan on keeping the outworlds attached by tube. I'm not going to attach them to the nest probably. Just so that way whenever it comes time to feed, I can have a better chance. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, the wifey called. So here is the regular size labyrinth beside the XL labyrinth. Isn't that just unreal? Let's turn them both the exact same way just to get the full effect. This is the aqua blue. And this is just the light blue. I think I'm gonna start going with this color. It really, it looks so much better in person than it does on camera. Um, you may be thinking, what are these little tubes? Well, if you remember, the water towers, they attach to that. That is how your nest stay hydrated. And something I might do differently with this nest versus what I've done with my other formica nests is I might actually go ahead and put some eco earth or something in here so that way the ants larvae has a way to spin their cocoons a lot easier. Um, they haven't struggled before in the past in the Tar Heel ant nest lineups, but I'm gonna play it safe and I'll probably put a little bit just off to the side here, uh, just to kind of help their cocoon spinners spin better. Um, that is an actual word, that's an actual statement, a um, true phrase even. You can look it up on Google, trust me. Uh, just, you know, don't look it up on Google. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about these. This was just a simple unboxing. I realized that I did not attach the Outworld to this nest. I'm a bad, bad YouTuber here. All right, so I can only do this from the side considering that I don't have the desk space. Let's see, bam. As mentioned before, I'm probably just going to attach both of these nests by tube. Um, it will be a lot easier. So you can stick a tube there and it can go into the outworld. You probably won't be able to actually get it in. Ooh, see? Standard glass, all the reflection. Probably won't be able to attach it to here, but I definitely can right here. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. But as stated, I don't plan on going into too much detail and showing off. 
Man, I keep getting sidetracked because something keeps like stuff keeps happening. Probably not gonna go into too much detail just because um, this is a simple unboxing video, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I got, unbox them. I will try to have a more detailed video of each of these nests as soon whenever I'm moving the colonies. So that way I have all my information in a row and I can give you guys 100% accurate information. Um, I don't have anything pulled up right now to look at. So this is it, this was the unboxing. I got the XL Labyrinth and the regular size Labyrinth. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Which nest did you like better? Leave a comment down below. Do you like the Labyrinth or the XL Labyrinth? I'm kind of torn, they're both beautiful nests. Let me know. Hey guys, here is some footage of me trying to move the colonies. This is after about two days of trying to move them into the nests. It's taken a long time. At the time of recording this, it's been about six to seven days, roughly. So, uh, you know, it's taken them a long time. But if you can tell in the video, instead of using vinyl tube to attach to the outworlds or trying to use those 3D printed stoppers, I went ahead and used some Ants Canada uh, tube connectors, the ones that you can plug or unplug if you ever need to do maintenance to the nests or whatever. Um, they fit perfectly, but I went ahead and wrapped some tape around it just to make sure they were snug inside those holes, so that way I don't have to worry about ants escaping. I also put cotton on the other side of them, so that way I can guarantee if they did get through somehow that they could not get through the cotton. But anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you.